on the drive, reverse, won't go, fight for the rebound, Daniels, Daniels puts it back up in, and a foul, as the shot clock expires. But did he get it off in time? Eric Spolster says no. Rodney Mott says, we'll take a look at it. Good drive by Ray Allen. And it's where the foul occurs. Now it seemed like the foul was before the clock, whether or not he released the ball. So I have a question, and I should know the answer, but I don't. If the foul occurs before the shot clock and the shot occurs after the shot clock, it's obviously the foul stops it. He, I think he really, I think he got he got it off yeah. anyway. What I'm saying is, would they would it just be a foul and the ball out on the side? Well, you, it can't be a shot attempt if the 24 second clock has expired, regardless of when the foul occurs. So that would have to be the case. Boy, that is so close. And if they can't determine it, it goes by what was called on the ground. Which was count the basket and a foul. But it appeared like... They just gave the explanation. They're going to count the basket in one. Yep. Clarify now on that Marquise Daniels play. The foul came before the shot clock expired, and so did the release of the ball. But now, according to the rules... If the foul comes before, that's when the clock should stop. So even though if he had released the ball on the shot after the shot clock expired, it still would have counted because the shot clock should have stopped the second the foul was called. 